in the Lake District. Where do you pick up these phrases? <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> just, just get old. <laughs> the first thing that struck me was more the similarities in our approaches to music making than the differences. And that's when I realised, actually, I thought we were onto something and that, you know, Monteverdi's Orfeo could be reimagined and it could be a very fruitful collaboration. Yeah, there's, there's been um, lessons and challenges every single day because uh, you're bringing two massive traditions together um, in a way I think is quite unprecedented in the, in the way that we're working from every single moment there is a degree of parity. This is the first time I've done anything, I think, truly collaborative in this sense. I've always thought <laughs> I'm a, I love collaborations, I love working with other musicians, but to actually go right back to the basics of what makes music happen has been really exciting for me on this because I think um, it really quest you make, makes yourself question why we do opera, why, why, why do we have this story that we want to communicate. Having the, having the opportunity to strip away so much of the usual things that we, we sort of encompass ourselves with and just to get to the kernel of, of I suppose, the, in a way, the truth of the piece, the, the, the power of music, you know, what, what Orfeo has to offer as a demigod. He, he uses his power of music to do the impossible. You know, at, at times that's what putting an opera feels like. <laughs> and um, with this particular collaboration, I think the, the combination of the different sound worlds, the different ethos is the, the different approaches has been so inspiring for me you know states in india are like um, uh, countries in europe they're so different um, the musical styles are different between the north and the south um, but the, the there is a tradition of um, folk music within each of the states as well that um, also helps shape a musician when when they come to classical music so within this opera we've not just got um you know Indian classical musicians as, a, as an umbrella term, um, there's, there's a lot of um, diversity within, within that with, um, with people from the Bengali tradition, from, um, from the region of Punjab, from South and Tamil Nadu, um, which have their own language, culture, um, and um, folk music systems. Um, obviously we're talking about Indian classical music, but um, because of the, the piece has also been shaped by the, um, the casting, uh, and the musicians that we're bringing in um, who, who bring a whole breadth of knowledge specific to their region of, of India, which is very interesting. Well. And we said on day one, you know, it's so wonderful to have, uh, you know, got this great bunch of musicians around here, everyone very inspiring, and that everyone was going to be out of their comfort zone mm -hmm. quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> because we've been out of our comfort zone ever since we started preparing, because inevitably you don't know things and, and you just have to fess up and to say, well, I, I, I don't understand how that works. Can you explain it to me? And then it's just fascinating um, and to, to come together on this project. I, th I think it's um, everyone will have learnt so much. Uh, and that's another big thing for me is that, that we don't expect the audience to know anything. I don't think anyone needs to know anything before they come. Um, just be open to having a good time, being drawn into a story and they will learn a lot, but hopefully not having been made to feel that they have to learn a lot. Mm -hmm.